Okay, well for a start then you have to be careful because they're at risk of aspiration. So if you were just to give them oral, uh, clean their teeth and you weren't suctioning their mouth, they could choke on maybe the toothpaste and, uh, and you could inflict a chest infection on them. Or, so you need to be careful not to use too much toothpaste, so I would say you'd have your suction handy. Uh, you'd assess their mouth sometimes when you're not eating and drinking. Some people are more prone to a, a really, um, well, just a mucky mouth than others. I don't know what the technical term is, but some people just seem to have a dry mouth and the, the secretions build up and it's, it must be uncomfortable. It's not nice if you've got a dry tongue, isn't it? So we need to look after that, therefore make sure they're prescribed the right toothpaste and everything. Sometimes for dry mouth you need, you know, prescription prescription mouthwashes and things like that you clean their teeth maybe they need desensitization as well because sometimes people have heightened sensitivity especially in their face so we have a desensitization uh, program which I'd have to teach that to the uh, student nurse and then have suction on hands and as you're cleaning the mouth making sure you look at the roof of the mouth as well because that's where all of the dried secretions tend to accumulate and and the tongue, make sure you brush their tongue. It's not a really nice thing to do because even when you're at the dentist, it's not nice having someone shove a suction tube in your mouth, is it? And that's what you're doing, it's not nice. People don't like having their teeth cleaned, but it's, you, you gotta do it and you gotta try and do it as, as nicely as possible and then suction any secretions or, um, you know, saliva and toothpaste out of their mouth. So that would be how I would do it. And some people need it four times a day if they if they producing a lot of perhaps saliva, which is then in their mouth breathing. If they mouth breathe, then it all dries in their mouth. See, some people are more likely to need more oral care than others.